Hi everyone. I hope you guys are doing well. This reading is uh, going to be interesting. Okay. So I am joined. <laughs> I'm just going to get started by um, doing a quick intro, a few little explanations. <clears throat> My voice is already um, doing crazy stuff. I'm already starting to channel. Um, for those of you who are new, my... I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. My readings are something a little different. I keep trying to do my readings like other tarot readers on YouTube, okay? And that's just something I'm going to have to stop doing, all right? Because it's not working. I have to do what the divine asks me to do. It's just the way it is. I have to start listening and paying better attention. Um, they are going to have me discuss Taurus energy the way that I said I would do in my last reading. Um, but it's just going to be Taurus energy. Uh, we are currently in Taurus season and that is what they want me to talk about. We had the new moon in Taurus last night. Now... A lot of my readings are very big on um, intuitional exercises. You are supposed to not look at it in the manner of um, student and teacher or, you know, someone who is above you. I, I don't like saying it like that. Um, subordinate and teacher whatever, however you want to look at that, you do not look at these readings in that way. I am a messenger, okay? And that's all I do. That's what I'm supposed to do. This is my calling. This is what I am meant for. Um, I am a psychic medium. I do have the ability to connect to the spiritual realm, so to speak, the 5D um, I not only have the ability to communicate with spirits and ghosts and those who have ghosts and those who have passed on, but I also have the ability to communicate with fifth dimensional beings, angels, whatever you want to call them, um, and the universe, the planets, the galaxy, the divine. It's, it's a connection. I am in the 4D. They are in the 5D. You are in the 3D. So I am a messenger in between the 5 and the 3D so they can communicate with you. Okay? So you have to look at it that way. Um, I, the universe, angels, spirits, that realm does not speak human. Okay? They don't speak English. They don't speak human. They don't speak our language. I have to translate and I will translate the best that I can from what I hear and what I understand them saying to me, but it is up to you. We have to do this together. Okay. Now I'm not just talking your ear off. This stuff is, you know, important for, um, ascension, spiritual ascension. So you can, you know, you're guided here for a reason. Energy attracts energy. Likes attract likes. This is... You know, if you find yourself here, you're supposed to be here and there's a message in it for you. I do not believe in this will or will not resonate. My readings are timeless. You can watch them anytime, anywhere, at any point. Time is ir not irrelevant, but time doesn't really, I mean, it doesn't really exist. It does, but it doesn't. Okay. Uh, in the 5D especially. So, um... If you're guided here at a certain point, it's what you're supposed to hear in that point in time. Um, you can watch one of my readings now and then watch it, you know, two, three, six months later, whatever, and it may still resonate and resonate with you differently. Time is an illusion. 
So, um, it's up to you because if I don't have your energy to read off of, what am I doing? Right? What's my purpose? If I'm not reading off of your energy, I have nothing to read off of. Okay. I have nobody to, um, deliver the messages to if it weren't for you guys. So it's teamwork. Um, it's up to you to use your intuition to pick up on the synchronicities, the messages, and what it is that they're trying to say and translate it yourself for your own situation as well. Okay? So I just repeat what I hear them saying. You're supposed to take it and don't try to fit a square peg in a round hole, but follow the signs, listen to your intuition and pick up on what it is you're supposed to be picking up on. Okay. That's for you. You'll know, you'll know when it's for you. Okay. We all have intuition. You'll be able to tell. Um, last night was the Taurus new moon. Okay. Um, we are in a position right now. New moons, as I have explained, um, in my other videos, are shadow energy. They are made to draw out shadow energy, blockages, things that are um, holding you back, things that are pulling you backwards, things that are preventing you from ascension, um, reaching your goals, reaching your higher uh, self. <coughs> Excuse me. They are... Um, <coughs> throat chakra. That's a message for the throat chakra. Okay. Speaking, saying something. This relates to the previous reading that I did. <coughs> um, about the uh, Scorpio new moon or full moon, the Taurus new moon, things like that. Um, Gemini, Mercury, and Venus going into Gemini, all of that. I explain all of the astrological happenings um, that are very recent in my last video, so I won't spend too much time on it, but that's what they're having me channel. That's what they, it, it relates to the same thing. They want to continue the message. Um, Speaking, throat chakra, um, speak now or forever hold your peace. Mercury is fixing to go into retrograde, okay? While it is in Gemini and not in retrograde, Gemini is the speaking, communication, logic, study. Um, I see library, I see studying, I see books, I see learning, I see... Um, and it doesn't have to be material, actually sitting in a library, studying, reading books, this and that, but it's learning. It is the energy of learning. Okay. Um, Geminis also like to talk. They communicate and talk a lot. Um, I am a Gemini son, so that is definitely part of, you know, who I am at my core. What is your sun sign? Your sun sign is who you are at your core. Okay. Um, moon sign. What is your moon sign? Your moon sign is your gooey emotions, your, um, shadow and light, your, um, it's part of your higher self of your emotions, of what you're feeling, of what you, um, keep buried underneath or what you, you know, it's, it's your shadow and your light. Okay. It's the gooey emotions. Your sun sign is your core. Okay. And it's who you are as a whole. Your moon sign is your gooey emotions, feelings, all of that stuff on the outside of that core, okay? And then your rising sign. What is your rising sign? Your rising sign is the outer shell, okay? It's who you appear to be. It's the, um, it's, it's the outer, outer part of who you are. While your sun sign is the inner part of it's your core. It's the inner part of who you are. Your rising sign is who you are externally. Okay. It's, it's who you appear to be to other people. It's how other people see you. It's how you interact and behave around your environment and your outside world. Okay. Um, moons, moon sign, emotions, your light and your dark, your feelings, emotions, gooey stuff, all of that, your feelings, 
Um, moon, new moon brings out the shadow. Okay. It brings all of those blockages, all of that shadow, all of that darkness, all of that stuff that's holding you back, whatever, uh, they'll, it'll keep pulling out shit that frustrates you, makes you angry. It'll keep pointing out your negatives, your blockages, your shadow energy will continuously be tested and pointed out six days before a new moon. Um, it's, it's like all, pulling all of that nasty shit up to the surface. Okay. And then full moons come in afterwards to clean it all out. Okay. But the thing about that is, is we have free will. Okay. So if you don't do your part, if you don't do your work, and if you don't do your, if you don't pay attention to what it is that the new moon is trying to show you, so you can learn and focus. You you notice a shadow, a part of your shadow. You you pick up on it. You go, okay, hey, I need to fix this, and then you learn how to fix it. That's where that studying, learning, logic, um, communication, all of that stuff comes in. If you don't do that, then the full moon isn't going to be able to clean it out and heal it, or you know. So. Taurus energy. This is a lot about stubbornness. Taurus and their shadow are very stubborn. They're very non-moving. They don't want to, they won't budge. Taurus in shadow energy is very, you tell me not to do that. I'm going to go do it six times. Okay. And the number six came out of my mouth. Um, not by accident. Six is a big karmic number. Okay. Six is equal give and take. It is three and three, okay? And the number three has been showing up for me a lot. It always shows up for me. Three, 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 that kind of stuff a lot before and after a new moon. I've been seeing the number three continuously. Um, sorry, guys. I also, I have to channel. I have to go in and out of these energies to keep um, the flow going. I have to listen. You experience me having a conversation with the 5D when I do these readings. Um, Taurus energy in its shadow is also very... It's not laziness, it's unwillingness to move. It's stubbornness. It's roots, earth energy into the ground. A, a Taurus is very, um, they're a bull, okay? Um, they're also very, there's a lot of energy of needing to prove something needing to prove yourself needing to accomplish everything right now there's like a rush um because of that push and pull energy with Taurus because Taurus is so stuck in their ways when it comes to their shadow side but in their light Outside of their shadow and their light side, they are very hardworking. They get shit done. They do what they're supposed to do. They are very honest and straightforward. Um, they are very take control of a situation. King and Queen of Pentacles. Um, they're very strong signs. They, I mean, they are a bull. Think of the animal, a bull. And think of it in its its behavior in a negative sense and how a bull behaves in a positive sense, okay? And then use that energy to remember that's how a Taurus is, okay? And we all have shadow. We all have light. Um, you can't have darkness without the light. You can't have light without the darkness. It's, it's both, okay? Um, you have to find balance. So... 
there is a with this new moon a heavy energy of like you can feel it something's coming okay and Taurus is very And this is not just about, I need, I feel like I need to say this. This is not just about your sun sign or zodiac sign of, you know, in your, of who you are or whatever, um, of the person. It's the energy as a whole because the new moon itself was in Taurus. Um, but if you have a lot of Taurus in your chart, it will affect you more heavily than others in those positions. I will go further into that on how to look into that and read into that into the extended. I will put a link to the extended in the description box below. It will be on Patreon, available on Patreon, okay? Um, but a lot of you are in this energy of like, like for an, ex an example with a job, like you've been working and working and working and working and working and working so hard to get a promotion. Okay, well, this is just an example. Working really hard to get a promotion, and it's like you can feel it. It's right there, but you're getting impatient, and you're getting very, I have to accomplish all of this, like, now. I'm stuck, and I need to get unstuck now. And it's also an energy of if I don't get what I want, and if I don't get what I want right now, I am going to just completely shut down and not do this anymore at all. It's like digging and digging and digging to get to the treasure that's buried and you're like... Sorry guys, I heard a crazy sound in there. Um, lots of weird stuff happens in my house, okay? So bear with me. Um, I don't know what that was. It sounded like something got knocked over. My cat's not in here. So I don't know. Anyway, um, it's like an energy of digging and digging and digging to get to the treasure that's buried. And it's like the treasure is right there. It's right there. You're almost there if you just keep digging a little bit more. But you give up. Right before you get there. Like, fuck this. There's no trap. I've been digging forever. I'm in this deep ass fucking hole. I'm tired. I don't want to do this anymore. I give up. And you quit right before you get there. That's the energy that I'm picking up. Um, this Because this new moon shadow energy. Now, let's talk about... Um, because the full moon will come. And when the full moon comes, if you've done your shadow work, the full moon will illuminate your blessings. Will illuminate... Your, will reward you for the work you did during the new moon, okay? Um, you will start to see the shift. That's when you will finally reach the treasure you've been digging for, right? But we also have an eclipse at the end of the month. Um, in Gemini season, there will be a, a an eclipse. I do, I think it's on the 28th. I'm really not sure. Um, and an, okay, an eclipse is pretty different from a new moon and a full moon, okay? Now, when we get an eclipse, it's like whatever you did or didn't learn during the new moons and the full moons that progressed and went on until this eclipse, the eclipse will just bitch slap you in the face with it, okay? Um... What happens is it's like an eclipse comes and says, oh, okay, you have been learning your lessons, doing what you're supposed to do, doing your shadow work, following your intuition, um, doing the best that you can. Your intuition is what, or not your intuition, your intentions are what count, okay? That your intention is what counts the most. Whatever it is that you're doing in the 3D, your soul your whatever it is that your body is doing your soul's intention is what the universe looks at okay so it's like your intentions are pure you've been trying really hard you've been doing what you can <clears throat> you've made it through the struggle this and that here's your gift like boom right in your face is what an eclipse does but it also goes 
oh, you're not learning your lesson, you're not seeing what you're supposed to see, you're not picking up on what's going on, you're not letting your tower moment happen, you are resisting, okay, well, boom, right in your face, I'm going to make you fucking see it. Okay, so that's that's just how it works. So we have an eclipse coming up um, at the end of the month. Um, uh, the Taurus new moon has given, it's, it's a lot of, because we're so close, we're so close to that energy, the Taurus new moon is giving off this, I mean, it's getting restless. It's a bull in a, in a cage getting ready to bust out. It's, it's one of those bulls behind a gate getting ready to bust free, wait for the, the gate, and, and the bull is like, let me out, let me out, let me out, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, let's go, let's go, let's go, and then, you know how, I mean, a bull in its shadow energy will say, fuck this, and just bust through, okay, and bust through on its own, and when it does that, what happens, people can get hurt, there might be people standing in front of that gate, or get, you know, do something, it's like an energy of just keep holding on, okay, don't let that Taurus, that stubborn, uh, gotta have control and do it right now, shadow energy, get the best of you, okay, now, I've been in a lot of energy of, um, I mean, just like that, feeling like I need to prove myself, feeling like I need to hurry and get everything done in, you know, five minutes, feeling like it's been a very restless, um, draining energy. Okay. It's, it's like I'm exhausted from just existing, honestly. Um, so you have to take the time before and after new moons to meditate, balance, think on what's going on, process what's happening, you know, and, and just kind of and, and do your soul work. Okay. Um, I saw fame and fortitude, okay, while meditating on your energy. What is fortitude? Fortitude is keeping strength through pain, keeping strength through suffering, um, negative things happening, um, um, things that, that frustrate you, that tear shit apart, tower moments, sickness, um, deaths, just pain, th breakups, um, losing jobs, lo losing things, whatever, arguments with loved ones, all these negative energies, these things that hurt you, bring you pain. Fortitude is keeping strength through it, okay? And I saw something about the rain, being in the rain, walking in the rain. It did rain recently. Um, spending time in the rain, being in the rain... Um, learning how to enjoy that, okay? Like, don't look at it in a way of, oh, man, I'm getting soaked. I'm, I, it's cold. It's shitty. Let the rain, rain is cleansing energy. Rain is healing energy. Um, it's, you know, it's kind of like the energy of you have to cry to get all of those hormones, those sadness, that yuckiness out, right? You cry, <clears throat> you're upset, you're sad, you're hurting, you've got a lot of shit going on. You have a good big cry and let it all out. You feel better afterwards, right? It's the same thing with the rain. It's the universe's way of saying, okay, all of these clouds are black and dark and gross and yucky. They, you know, they have a good cry. They have a good rain. They're white and fluffy and pretty and cleared and cleared up again. Yes. Okay, so that's the energy that I am picking up on. Um, fame and fortitude. Uh, hold on. Keep strength through the pain. Keep strength through the struggle. Keep patience. Don't give up. Keep digging. Keep digging. Keep digging to that treasure. And you will reach your end goal, your positive end goal. Forti fortitude and fame. You will fame. You will reach um, what it is you're wanting. Okay, what it is that you're manifesting. Um, but you have to keep fortitude. You have to keep strength. Oh, man. Well, I dropped that ball. I guess I'm not supposed to have that in my hands anymore. Um, 
But that's it. Drop the ball. Drop the ball. The universe is about to drop the ball. Okay? I don't know what's going on. I don't know. You know, these messages are for... I mean, they're for all of us. You're drawn here for a reason. Um, this is Amethyst. Okay? I'm supposed to point that out to someone. Amethyst um, is necessary. It is calming. Calm, relaxing. The color purple. Um, it is... I have been seeing the end of pain and suffering, the end of struggle. Um, just before the new moon, the last two new moons, I have witnessed a bird fly into the first, the Aries new moon, it was a window. The Taurus new moon, it was a car. The car in front of me, a bird flew straight into it, into the front windshield and died. I, I know it's gruesome, I know it's kind of sick, I know it's upsetting, but it's, you know, it, it is the way, it is what it is. Um, energy transfer, messages from the universe, omens. A uh, bird means the end of pain, a bird dying means the end of pain of su and suffering. It is the end of struggle and hurt. That bird crashed into that window, broke its neck. I'm sorry, I know this is gruesome, broke its neck, and it struggled, and it was in pain for a second, and then it passed. It died. And when it died, it ended that pain and that struggle, okay? So this is a death and rebirth type of energy. Um, And I always pick up on that energy before a new moon because that's what this is. But it's a lot heavier this time around because we're so close to this eclipse. We're in the year 2021. It's during the rapture, as, you know, religious text would call it. Um, it doesn't work how men, man-made books and man-made man um, bullshit says how it works that's not you know what this is but it's I don't do religion okay but um it's just a lot heavier this time around there's a lot of people reaching awakening there's a lot of people seeing omens reaching you know new strengths and this fortitude and fame thing is keep holding on keep pushing through the struggle don't give up yet you're about to reach your fame you're about to reach your end goal it's coming Okay, everybody's sitting around like, where is it, where is it, where is it? Fuck this, I'm about to give up. Or fuck this, I'm about to just take it. And you can't be in that energy. You have to let that energy go and just let it happen. Okay? Um, trust. Have trust. So, they're wanting me to pull some cards. Okay? And, and go into little details here. Oh my God, I did not do this on purpose. Guys, I swear I can't prove anything. Ascendance? Are you shitting me? Restoration. I didn't do this on purpose, guys. All I did was, I mean, I shuffled the deck before I set it down here and started my video, but it wasn't, I didn't look at the cards. What did I say? And then Ascendance. Okay, we've got Elder Library and Ascendance. That's nuts. Gain one pull. Why am I looking at that? What is that? Uh, these are gaming cards that I use, like Oracle cards. And sometimes the number one stood out to me very heavily. One, one, one. One, one, one. Three. One, two, three. Holy shit. Guys, okay, I'm sorry. I get really excited. Um, I like when omens and messages from the spirit realm come through because it's very, um, nothing is a coincidence, okay? Elder Library, Ascendance, reaching a new level, ascending, going up higher, okay? Elder Library, studying, learning, ascending. That's everything that I was talking about, doing your spirit work, your work in general, what it is that you're doing, okay? Studying, learning, working to ascend, 
in whatever personal situation that it resonates with you. Okay. And then the number three, it's got one, 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 two, three. Okay. That's nuts. And we have restoration <clears throat> at the bottom of the deck as well, which, um, it's two people. It's a feminine and a masculine energy. Now remember gender is not look. Gender is not um, a part of any of this. It's all energy. We all are made up of masculine, feminine energy. Okay, so it's whatever resonates best with you. But there's a masculine energy and a feminine energy. And it's like they are resting, recuperating. She's there to help him. He's been shot in the heart. Or shot in the chest. He's taking off this bloody t-shirt. And uh, healing his wounds to start anew. She is over here with her hand on his shoulder. Like she is being supportive. Okay. Um, he's smiling. But she looks worried. About him. However, that resonates with you. Oh my God, look. Three. Wait, I don't know if you can see it. Three, four, five, six. What did I just say a minute ago about the number six? Equal give and take. Right? Equal give and take. Okay. So let's keep going. Let me pull. They want me to pull one more from here. Two more from here. I do believe. What's flipped over? Something's flipped the wrong way. It's ancient influence. This card reminds me of the tower. Okay. Um, remember what I said about holding strength through your tower moments. Tower moments, tower moments. While the new moon is testing you and testing your shadow, holding fortitude, holding strength through it. Okay. Let's see what we get from this. And then I will pull more cards from a different deck to clarify. Enchant Kindred. Sorry, I am. I saw something else I feel like flipped over the wrong way, but I might be wrong. Okay, and you guys see me shuffling and doing all that. I don't, you know, I'm not a fucking magician, so... These cards coming out are not, um, I just heard a slam, three, 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 I just heard a slam as, back here as it reached 3303, magician, so the magician card, the magician card manifesting, um, Wow. Okay. We'll see where that goes. That was an omen for something. And I'm in this, I am in this big energy of like feeling like I need to prove myself. It's that Taurus energy. I feel like I need to, um, explain and prove myself. It's that stubbornness. Of um, wanting to, you know, prove others wrong. That's what, you know, that energy is. But I'm having to keep myself out of I'm having to calm down and keep myself out of that energy. But I am going to do a video eventually on all of the different scientific studies for psychic mediums and the fifth dimensional realm and a third eye awakening and all of that um, stuff that comes from science, doctors, um, things that can, you know be relevant and it's not a half but I have to first get out of the energy of and this is important this is part of the channeling before I can do that I have to get myself out of that energy of I need to prove something okay I cannot go into 
all of that, all of that teaching everybody, that kind of shit. I can't do that in the energy of, I need to prove myself. I have to go into it with an energy that is more positive, that is more loving, that is more willing to educate and, you know, do it. I, I don't know. Like, I can't go into it in that, that energy is very shadow, very negative, feeling like I have to prove myself to others, but I am going to do, I've been inspired to do something with that, um, because I have been studying and looking into it a lot. I keep seeing a card as I'm shuffling that's flipped the wrong way, but I can't find it. These are a lot of cards. Hi, there you are. You're back. <clears throat> he has been oh and I just saw cat's guidance as I was looking um I don't know whatever it is it's an oh blood doll she has wounds on her neck I don't know if that's relevant it says master <clears throat> I get a very submissive energy off of this. Anson. Name Anson. Um, I get a very submissive energy. See that purple? When I was discussing the color purple? It's calming. It's, it's definitely a card of surrender. Surrendering. Being submissive, that is exactly the opposite of what Taurus is. Taurus is very hard-headed. They don't surrender. They don't, um, they're not submissive. They're stubborn. They're hard-headed. They do what they want. They, um, you tell them not to do something, they're going to do it eight times just because you told them not to. Like, it's very, um, this is getting rid of that energy. That kind of that kind of energy, that um, defensive, stubborn, not budging, it's becoming submissive and and allowing the universe to do its thing. You can't control it. Stop trying to control things outside of yourself that you can't control. Purple means calming, soothing, relaxing. Um, yesterday at six fifty four, six five four. Okay, counting down six, five, four. Six equal give and take. Five, death transformation, death and rebirth transformation. Four, stability, love, um, connection, balance, equality. Uh, two, two, pillars holding something up stability okay it's it makes a square makes a connected a box makes um something solid those four lines four ones okay is the card that signifies that um that's what that means 654 at 654 yesterday my phone okay and and spirits will communicate with you via technology okay um, you just have to, you know, it's, it, you have to be able to pinpoint when it's out of character and it's weird and it's crazy stuff that can't be explained. Like yesterday, 654, my phone all of a sudden, for some reasons, blocked up, started acting crazy and weird. I couldn't get it to do anything. It froze and then it just kind of black, the screen blacked out and shut off. Um, the phone didn't shut off, but the screen did. The phone itself stayed on. But what's strange is, after it did that, when the screen went blank at 6.54, and I finally got it to, you know, act right, and I swiped and unlocked the screen again, my background had changed itself to a purple sky that I did not have on my background previously. Okay, see? It changed to that. And I had a picture on my background. Why would I want this on my background, right? Um, and I did take a screenshot where you can see it's 6.54 when it happened. But again, 
I, you know, I'm in that energy of, I have to prove myself, like Taurus bullshit, right? Um, cat's guidance. My cat came in here finally just a second ago. That's an omen. Um, 654. Okay. And this is the screenshot of my phone after it happened. The phone just started locking up and freezing and acting crazy. And then the screen just kind of went black, like it cut off like that. And then I hit the button to make it come back on and swipe to unlock. And my background was this purple sky. So that has a lot to do with this. Okay. And then for those of you who, you know, realize this, I, I am a witch. I am a psychic medium. I am of the occult. I am of practice and working with the galaxy, the universe, the planets, the divine, and the spiritual realm. And the spiritual realm does shit like that. So shit like that happens for me very often. Cat's guidance. Here you are. Hey, buddy. Oh, shit. And then I just dropped the card. Straight up. Okay. Something about cat energy. Look up the spiritual meaning of cats. Look up... Um, the healing properties of cats, cats uh, and how they work, what they mean, what they signify, what they can teach you. Um, maybe you have cats. Maybe cats are your spirit animal. Maybe cats are your favorite animal. You know, it could be anything of that um, particular whatever. Okay. So I'm going to pull one more from here. And then do a couple of clarifiers to get some little details. And then we will move on to an extended for the details necessary. We have regaining the upper hand, which has a lot to do with that Pluto and retrograde energy. Okay, that's going on. Regaining the upper hand. So look into that. I talked a little bit about that in my last video. All right. Elder Kindred Network. This came out last time. These same cards come out. And listen, all of these cards are like different shit. I swear. Rapid healing. Like it's, but the same cards come out every time. Elder Kindred Network. Your network, your spirit team, your community, your surroundings. Okay, this moon is going to shake up your network going to shake up your community, going to shake up your surroundings. It's going to out with the old, in with the new, okay? Um, you're going to have to change who you surround yourself with. You're going to have to take a good look at your network and, and who you surround you with. I just, I who you surround yourself with, your energy with. I just got the message of somebody who doesn't like animals, somebody who doesn't like your cat, somebody who doesn't like animals and that's a, a dark sign of this person like shadow energy not resonating with you don't judge people don't hate people don't be you know in a negative toxic energy oh my god but don't um you know let someone else's shadow drag you down so, some cards fell on the floor read intentions read intentions i was just talking about that your intentions are what the divine look at. Your intentions are what matter. Read your network's intentions. Read your people's intentions. Look at who they are, what they're doing at their core. And, res and what doesn't resonate with you, you have to clean out and let in new. Cauldron of Blood... Justice, I see the word justice in there very often when I look in this. It's very, um, I'm getting like family, that blood is thicker than water saying, but it's, you know, how that saying is like bullshit. That's the energy that I'm picking up. Like maybe you're having issues with a family member. Flash means that this is something that's going to happen very quickly. Okay. Some of you may be, um, needing to cut out a family member, um, blood, 
justice, somebody who you've been close with for a really long time, somebody that is, you know, oh my God. I just want to start shuffling. Cat's guidance is in here twice. That is nuts. You guys are about to fucking lose it. Fortitude. Surviving through the through the pain. There's a lot of blood coming up in these in these images. And Kite's guidance came out twice. I didn't know that card was in here twice. So that's a you know I t I mean I try to take the doubles out, but you know sometimes it's an omen. It's supposed to come out twice. Um, because this is a lot of cards for the same two things to fucking come out like that. Okay, it's all divinely guided. Fortitude. Fortitude, that's what I fucking said. That's what I fucking said. With superior fortitude. Surviving. Strength through the pain. He's got all of these swords and knives and shit. He's fucked up. He's got the... He's got, um... All this fucking, all this shit happening to him, and he's picking himself back up. He's getting back up. Pushing through it. Keep going. Fortitude. Fortitude. I said that. Oh, my God. Okay. See, that goes right here underneath Blood Doll, which is like that submissive um, energy that surrender to the you know ride the waves surrender to what the universe is doing just let it happen stay calm let it you know be as it should be um if somebody or something doesn't resonate with you anymore and it's hurting you you got to put but you know it's like it's hurting it it hurts to let something go but you have to surrender to the the fact that it's not working for you anymore you have to ascend you have to ascend beyond we we outgrow things energy shifts and energy changes and when it doesn't resonate with you anymore you have to let it go one more army of rats holy shit a, ki a network, and an, I mean, it's people who are not good for you. It's people you have to let go. It's, um, you know, an army of rats. You have a network or a system or you're hanging around people or allowing energy into your force field that is negative, that is um, ill intentions, bad intentions towards you. Um, it's energy that is looking at you negatively. Causing you negativity. Causing you pain. And it's time to let it go. You are um, going to learn or have learned that someone you thought you could trust cannot be trusted. Okay? And it's going to suck, but it's time. It's time to let this go. It's time to let it pass. You don't have control over other people and other you know, things outside of yourself, you know, you don't, you have control over yourself and it's time to experience that, like that bird, that bird, you know, getting hit by a car right in front of me and dying in the road. There's nothing I could do. I couldn't control it. It is what it is. It's part of the cycle of life. Okay. It's part of the way it, it's just the way it goes. Sometimes you got to let out Take, oh God, let out the old King of Swords tried to flip over. That kind of sucks. That resonates with my, that King of Swords resonates with my energy and my personal situation and that kind of fucking sucks. Um, I'd like to hope that this, I, I don't want to get too deep into my um, own personal life, but I would like to hope that this person, that it's not, you know... But I don't know. I don't know. My intuition is um, all over the place in my own personal situation. And I don't know what to do, you know. I don't want. It, it's the same thing. I don't want to think that this person is 
shitty, bad intentions. Um, going to hurt me or doing something behind my back. But if that if that's the case, it is what it is, right? King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Oh, but hey, Ten of Cups. So maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. It's make it or break it time is what I hear for you and this person, you and this or these people or this com this community, this network, this situation, this workplace, this family situation, whatever it is that resonates with you. It is um, high priestess intuition. It is make it or break it time. You're going to find out who is on your side and who isn't on your side. So there's a very big chance, just like me, you have to meditate on it. You have to look into it. Maybe you're being paranoid. You have to read intentions with the people around you and pay close attention. Some people have good intentions for you and you can't see it. And some people have bad intentions for you and you can't see it. And this is a reading about checking your network out and seeing who is good for you, who is not, who resonates with your energy and who doesn't. Let go of who doesn't and bring in who does, okay? It can be about multiple people, multiple situations. That's what I'm channeling. That's what I have to realize also in my journey. I have to stop being paranoid and freaking out. And I have to stop. You have to remember that 95, and this is in, I mean, this is psychologically, scientifically proven, 95% of our actions, our behavior, our what what we do and what we are is subconscious. We work 95% subconsciously. It's the way that we are. Only 5% of our behavior and actions is conscious. Okay? So when we overthink and we overdo it and we go into using more than 5% consciously, then we start to go into our shadow and we start to um, get confuse ourselves and we start to miss out on messages and understanding what it is that's going on. It, you have to work with the subconscious 95% of us is subconscious and that's how it's supposed to be. That's the natural state. So you have to work that way to be able to tell the difference between and shift through who is good for you and who is not. Okay. And it's make it or break it time. Wheel of fortune. Wheel of fortune. It's a major arcana. What does this mean? This means it is what it is. It goes as it goes, goes with the flow. The wheel keeps on turning. It can turn forwards or it can turn backwards. It is fate. It is destiny. It is your path that you walk. Okay. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles. This is that energy I was talking about. The Knight of Pentacles in reverse and the moon. What does that mean? The Knight of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Taurus Energy, feeling stuck. The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight. And because he is Earth Energy, and Earth Energy moves really slow, really conscious. It's a growing plant. It's a tree rooted into the ground. It is Earth Energy. It is something that takes time, that takes nurturing, that takes three-dimensional acknowledgement. Um, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse is stuck. He doesn't move. He's not moving. Okay? He's frozen in place. The moon is illumination, healing, cleansing, clearing, bringing all of that out. Bringing out secrets, getting you unstuck. It is the moon. Everything that I discussed about the moon, the moon illuminating, um, pulling all of the yucky shit out and clearing it out. It's, it's everything that I just talked about. It's clarification to everything I just discussed. All of this is the material realm, the little details that it gave me, okay, about having to, this is what you're getting unstuck from. You, you feel stuck in a situation 
And you're going to have to read intentions and see what's good for you and what's not. What resonates with you and what does not. And, and you're feeling stuck. Stuck because you don't want to let go of the old. Okay? I want one more from here. The moon is going to make adjustment of that situation. The wheel of fortune. The wheel keeps on turning. We have the star and we have justice. What did I say I saw in that blood card? That, that blood cauldron or whatever. Whichever card it was. Justice. Justice. And we have the star. The star is made. That's two major arcana. Again, with the wheel of fortune. And the moon is major arcana. So that's one, two, three, four major arcana. Four. The number four. Stability. Um, justice being brought to the situation. Balance being brought to the situation. I see this moon back here. The star is healing, cleansing. Okay, let's see. It's, I mean, there's strength, fortitude. That's another major arcana. That's a lot of major arcana. That's a lot of, that's, that's some intense energy, guys. Okay, what is the most likely outcome for this situation? What is the most likely outcome for this situation, please, spirit team? Thank you for your messages. Oh. Oh. That's a lot, guys. That's a lot. Can we um, narrow it down a little? I just want the chariot movement forward. Another major arcana. Seven of pentacles in reverse. The ending of confusion. Figuring it out. Making a choice. The lovers. Holy shit. If this is a romantic situation that you're dealing with, it's, I mean, everything's going to become clear. Okay? Everything, that page of cups keeps trying to come out too. That's an offer of love. That's an offer of um, emotions. That's a, that's a message of, here are my emotions. Here's my cup. Okay? I do not know why this is so, why is this like this? It just can't focus. That's an omen, I'm sure. You can't focus. Um, the emperor just flew out. Masculine energy. Earth, I keep seeing. The emperor is supposed to be Aries, okay? Which we did just get out of it. But look, this is not Aries energy. This does not look Aries to me. He's got bull horns. He's got earth all around him. Trees. Okay, and he's holding this orb. The emperor is the embodiment of all kings. He is the ultimate masculine energy. He, he's in control. He's in control of his situation. He's in control of his environment. He's in control of what's going on. Okay, he, he's, he's in control of, of himself. He understands what he cannot control and what he can. And he's balanced. And look, this is Earth Taurus energy. I don't give a shit that the Emperor is supposed to be Aries. This is Taurus. Look at that. And the lovers, I mean, it doesn't have to... I see the sun up here. It doesn't have to be a love scenario. Is that a fucking apple? I have never seen that before. Sorry, I see omens and stuff in these in these readings for myself as well, but it's a collective. It's all of us in the same energy together. You're drawn here because we are within the same energetic circle. We are a spirit family. Um but the it it has the lovers is coming together. It's purple. Her dress is purple. It's happiness. Finding that happiness. Finding that completion. Coming together. Union. Okay. 
I want one more to go right here. Help me understand the lovers and the emperor. What's supposed to go in the middle here? The three of cups. The three of cups. Celebration. Union. Commitment. Sharing emotions. Share. It's your community. It's a community. In the upright position, it's... it's. See this cir these circles. Look at this. Two... Three. Do you see these three? Circle. 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 Looks like a full moon. An eclipse. The moon. Okay. It's it's that imagery in my mind is what I see. Um, it's all it's clarification that everything's coming together. This is this is coming together. This is commitment. This is union. This is your community, your friendships, celebrating, celebrating with your friends, with your network, with your connections. Okay, working together. That's what this you know, can elder kindred network. That's what this is. This is finding your circle. Okay, your, your environment, as far as who you're hanging around, your friendships, your networks, your connection, your family, your people, your circle, your circle is about to change and it's going to change drastically and it's going to change quickly. And that's happening. That energy, you can feel that energy coming. That is why you feel like you are in this stuck place. You are about to come into a new network, a new community, meet new people, new friends that resonate with you. You're about to outgrow an old situation and step into a new situation that resonates with you. Okay? That's the image. That's that's the message that I'm getting. This is this is this is having control. It doesn't matter masculine or feminine energy. It like if whether you're a man, a woman, whatever, whatever, none of that matters. We all have feminine, masculine energies, period. We are all makeup of both feminine and masculine energy. This is having control over your masculine energy. Masculine energy is fiery and quick and rushing and takes charge. Masculine energy controls and takes charge. Okay, while feminine energy is loving, caring, nurturing, masculine energy is take charge, take control, take, you know, um, um, power. It's, it's also, it's, it's another, it's a different spectrum of caring. Okay, masculine and feminine energies, it, it. It's a balance, but it's the yin and yang. And this is having control over your masculine energy, over your taking charge, over that Taurus, that bull busting through that gate. It's having the control to wait patiently and let it happen. Oh my God. If those loud banging sounds do not stop, that scared the shit out of me. I don't know what that is an omen for. I don't know what's happening. Whatever it has to do with whatever I just said. Busting through that gate. Boom. Okay. It's letting the universe open the gate for you. Here, here's my cat. What did you do? Did you do something in there? What was that noise? Mr. Sir. Cat's guidance. There it is. Cat's guidance. Don't bust open the gate too early. Wait. Let the universe illuminate things and, and unstick. You, you feel stuck? Just wait. You're almost there. I hope that this message resonated with you guys. I hope that it helped. I hope that it made sense. Um, this is what I'm going to close off with. 
I am going to move this over to an extended. The reading is already an hour long, but I am going to move it over to an extended where I look into more specific details, like in-depth details, okay? I try to make it more personal and get more in touch with messages from the divine about, you know, whatever it is they want to let me know, but they say that I can go into deeper detail with the extended. So I will do that. But if you don't want to join me over there, that is perfectly fine. Thank you for watching. Thank you for hearing your message. Um, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you want for more readings, for more lessons on spiritual awakening, ascension, um, third eye. I do a lot of talk about science, psychology, um, just all the different things that I'm studying and learning, astrology, astronomy, all of that stuff. So if you want to follow me, please do. Uh, thank you for being here. You guys are awesome. Um, my subscribers, my followers, my patrons, all of you guys are awesome. I love you guys. This is, you know, I, I love being able to do this for you. This is my calling. This is what I'm supposed to do. So I hope that this help, helped. I hope that this resonated. Um, you guys have an awesome day. Keep going. Keep holding on. Fortitude. Okay? Fortitude. We're almost there. Alright? Alright. Love and light, you guys. Bye-bye.